working in a garage in Missouri. (laughs) (laughs) We just don't get it. But um, instrumentation is kind of important. These battery systems are a little uh, touchy. They're not like a lead acid system or an ICAD system where you have a fairly linear discharge curve from a voltage level down to another voltage level. We've got this sharp drop and then a very flat discharge curve and then another sharp drop. Uh, Victor has come up with a system that actually will count the amp hours in and out of the ba- of the batteries. Uh, it'll tell you how many amp hours you've put in when you're charging and how many amp hours you've taken out when you, when you drive. Yeah. Along with a whole bunch of other Great. stuff and more, we're going to talk about that. But Brian mounted the display. This pod looks kind of like a mini thing. It does. It's not... I was, I was surprised. It, 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 it really does look nice. It, it kind of looked like a, one of the mini things with the round sort of pod for the speedometer and a round sort of pod for the RPM thing. So I was okay. We put it on the dash. It's going to obstruct our vision a little bit. The thing doesn't do well in full sunlight. Uh, No. It needs a hood on it. Yeah, it's a little difficult to see. Uh, And then we got to like drill a hole in the dash and the top of the dash you were telling me it's not really that strong a material. it's, It's not that thick. The dash, which no dash pad is anymore, but I think once we drilled some holes, it could crack there. Not it's really a, a metal thing under it. It's just sort no. of all plastic. Yeah, it's a pad, a foam pad, a high-density foam. Okay, so that wasn't working. Well, here's something else you can't get approved at BMW. Only guys like us can do this. <laughs> Brian came up with a concept of mounting it in the air conditioning vent. As it turned out, the... E-Vision pod was 79 and a half millimeters, was that the, it? The, the outer diameter of that pod case. And the inner diameter of the air conditioning vent was 81 and a half millimeters. It was. And Victor, that's millimeters. <laughs> We're using your measurement system from the metric mind. Um, he uh, pulled out the vent control, the direction control, and the little closer and uh, cut those out and uh, epoxied <coughs> the pod right in the vent on the left side, um, kind of in the lower part of, of the dash. Um, and it's got just enough room for it that we're, I'm still going to get a little air conditioning. You're still going to get a little air conditioning. <laughs> uh, and what's blocked off should... Uh, basically, I guess, go out the other vents. And I think it would. I think it would <clears throat> direct it out a little bit into the mm-hmm. other three vents. The kind of have to look around the steering wheel, but since this is kind of directional, you can move it around and you use the same frame, mm-hmm. I can also tilt the display different mm-hmm. directions. So I think it's brilliant. But can you imagine in a corporation taking it to management that you wanted to mount a meter in an air conditioning vent? I don't think it would fly. It, they, without knowing what an air conditioning event looked like or why it was such a good idea, if they had a meeting about it, the answer would have to come back no. I, don't, I think so. Well, we had about a 20 second meeting and the answer came back yes, and we can do that and they can't. That's right. <laughs> Bravo for us. Good, good for us. So, uh, the, and the way it came out, I'm just utterly stunned at uh, how gorgeous. Uh, you, you, I guess in Britain you'd call this fitment. You're a fitment meister. <laughs> uh, the, uh, he blew me away with the VDO gauge and the speedster, but this one is uh, beyond the pale. The instrumentation okay. system um, is a problem. Uh, it, it, it's a great instrumentation system. I haven't found one that I can live with. And this one is about $785. All right. So it's a lot for an instrumentation system. Since we have eschewed the use of a battery management system, um, you know, I I kind of feel a little bit disingenuous about that position because we've had and been familiar with the E-Vision on our first conversion, Mm -hmm. and so we are now. Not all, but some of the functions of a battery management system we really have here. I, I can tell a lot from this thing. It's a 
a little round display with uh, two numeric indicators and an LED bar graph that goes around it. Um, you can actually have 21 different pages of information wow. that you can cycle through and you have to use what he's calling a uh, HMI, the human machine interface, which is just a little selector, <laughs> um, to sort of twiddle through these different screens and it'll display a whole lot of things. What do we got on the list there, Brian? Let's uh, kind of go through it and give them an idea. Um, on the traction battery. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got instantaneous voltage on the traction battery. So that's our battery pack voltage. Mm -hmm. uh, the instantaneous current in or out. Well, that would, would be how much current we're actually using. Battery current now, not controller current to the motor, but battery current while we're accelerating or charging current while we're parked. And instantaneous power as well in or out. Uh, that's kind of the magic of uh, being able to detect the current. If you know the voltage and current, you can uh, calculate and simply totalize in memory um, the amount of power, kilowatts, a kilowatts, uh, you know, voltage times amps. Um, at a level of a thousand. So a thousand volts at an amp or a thousand amps at a volt or some combination mm, therein. But that's kind of how we measure energy into and out of the pack. And, uh, and Victor's doing the calculation for us from volts and amps. Great. We've also got some, uh, some more current measurements here. Capacity, mm -hmm. uh, energy, uh, looks like state of charge. Yeah, the, those are all kind of uh, the same totalizing function. He's keeping track of how many amp hours have come in or out of the pack. Uh, another way of stating that is kilowatt hours. Um, and if you abstracted that a little bit for the, the mindless, uh, you would call it state of charge. Okay. How, what percentage of your battery you have left. Um, we can also get uh, temperature from two different uh, locations in the car, which we'll use mostly for battery temperature. We've also got a direction of the battery current, which I guess we'll be able to in use both of them right. this time now with our uh, oh, yeah. regen and charging. Uh, yeah, we would be able to, to see how much current we were putting back in the batteries going downhill with the regen. From the regen. Uh, cycle life and full cycles. It'll keep track of... Um, how many times we charge and discharge the battery. Um, and we've got some imbalance detection too and measurement. That's, uh, we've talked about that in the mm -hmm. past, one of the sort of battery management things. You want to be able to detect if you have a bad cell. This thing kind of cunningly does this. I, uh, um, I like this actually because it's simple uh, and it's effective. Um, and we talked about it in an earlier video on battery management. He basically, we run a center tap to the middle of the pack. Um, we've got taps at the negative terminal of the mm -hmm. pack, the positive terminal of the pack, and so he can measure each half of the pack voltage. And he gives us a display on the bar graph that you can select that's just a dot, top, center. Well, if either half of the pack has more voltage than the other one, he'll move that dot a couple dots left or a couple dots right, it's actually quite sensitive. And mm -hmm. so I can tell within a few tenths of a volt, really, half a volt I'd say, um, between the two halves of my pack if one has a higher voltage than the other half. That's the beginning indication that I've got a cell that is out of balance Sorry, with the rest of them. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't tell me which cell. It doesn't tell me the battery, the cell voltage of the bad cell. But I'm driving a car. I don't care. All right. Something's going on. I've got a problem with right. my balance, and I need to come back, and then we can go at it with the multimeter or any of our other things. Um, in this car, we've been playing with the batteries and the battery boxes. One of the things that slowed us down is I have wired every cell to Amphenol plugs, these kind of mil-spec uh, connectors, and I've built a test set where I can cycle through and look at all the uh, cells, but that's something I would do in the garage. I need an indication in the car that something's wrong and that balance uh, uh, thing will do it. So this has kind of got a little computer in it. Um, there is a speed input 
uh, off a kind of a magnetic or ferrous uh, pickup mm -hmm. on the drive shaft that'll give us a speed indication and actually count the revolutions of the tire. You put in the tire diameter with the software and it, uh, it'll keep track of how many watt hours you're using per mile, how many miles per kilowatt hour, mm -hmm. however you want to see it. Um, the distance and miles you can go until you're empty. Um, the time uh, until the, the, when you're charging, it'll show you the time to full, how much time you have left to, to charge. The thing runs off the traction 